you may remember that agricultural production is characterized by lags because there is a time lapse between production and harvest. Producers make decisions on how much to produce in the next production cycle based on today's prices, which results in price and quantities varying between one year and the next. This movement of prices and quantities is known as the cobweb phenomenon, which helps to explain the cyclical variability of agricultural production and prices. This graph represents the market supply and demand for wheat. If the price of wheat increases today, it will incentivize wheat farmers to increase production of wheat. A few months later, when wheat is harvested, there will be an increase in wheat availability in the market, which will result in a drop in the price of wheat. This in turn will result in a reduction of wheat production for the next season, which will lead to an increase in wheat prices. Now assume that the price of wheat in year one is P1, which is above the equilibrium price for the market. If wheat farmers use this price to decide how much to produce in year two, they will produce amount Q2. Consumers are willing to purchase Q2 at price P2. Based on price P2, producers decide to produce Q3 in year three. In year three, consumers are willing to pay P3 for that amount of wheat. The market will adjust to equilibrium as time lapses, assuming that supply and demand remain unchanged. In competitive markets, the interaction of supply and demand in the form of the individual actions by producers and consumers in the market leads the market back to the equilibrium when it is deviating from it.